So, to sell or not to sell? I guess we haven't actually shared with you guys about this yet. Gosh, there's been so many moving parts and uncertainties and it's been such a process getting to this point, but we... I'm Sarah, this is Brandon, and that's Iko. If you're joining us for the first time, it is perfect timing as we are currently in the early stages of building a brand new floating cabin. There's just two or three videos you might want to watch to get caught up, so I'll link those here as well as in the description below. In the meantime, we've been trying to figure out what the future holds for the floating house we've lived in up to this point. Stay tuned to join us in yet another new adventure unfolding. So let's just cut to the chase, shall we? We actually do think that we're gonna be able to keep our house to Airbnb, so that's pretty exciting. Super exciting, actually. <laughs> I do just wanna apologize about the confusion that we had over you know, our ultimate decision there. At the time, that genuinely was what we thought was gonna to have to happen, and we're really pleased that it's not, but I know that there were a lot of people interested, and I just, I don't want anybody to feel like we got their hopes up for nothing. That was certainly not our intention. In any of it, just wanna apologize for that. But at the same time, so excited, so excited. Woo! We had some really great offers. But at the end of the day, we decided we're going to keep it. I mean, we never really wanted to get rid of it in the first place. We just thought that we were not going to be able to afford finishing the new build if we didn't have a little bit of cash in our pocket from this place. And everybody was like, well, why don't you just Airbnb it? And it's like, we can't Airbnb it without moving out. And we can't move out without finishing the new build. And we can't finish the new build without the money from the house. So anyways, that was the debacle. And the reason why we've been able to figure out a way to keep it is because- I found a place online that sells ramen in bulk. <laughs> we found five or six different ways that we're gonna be able to save money on the new build. We shared one last week about the anchor that saved us about three grand, but more of that to come. At least enough money to where it would be affordable to finish the build well enough to move into it and start getting the income from the Airbnb. So we're really excited because we get to keep our house and have our new house. We get to have our cake and eat it too. Just feel very blessed and thankful about that for sure. So you have done this before, right? VRBO. Yes. It was a floating house. It was good and it was bad. The good part was it stayed rented all the time. The bad part is the house slept six people and they'd show up with 10 or 15 and turn it into a party place and it was just wild. So. I'd always have to go over and police them and it was just annoying. So this one's perfect because it's not big enough to be a party house. It's more like where you take your wife to wine and dine her. Yeah, more of a couple's getaway, small families, girls weekend with a couple best friends, fishing buddies, whatever. So when you did yours here, how did you get people back and forth? Did they usually have their own boat? Six out of 10 brought their own boat, which worked out great. And the ones that didn't, I just offered a canoe and they could paddle a canoe over with their stuff in it. And they would keep the canoe for however long they stayed? Yeah. Did you charge extra for that or it was just part of it? No, the, the canoe comes with the rental. Yeah, because I gotta have some way. And the canoe is better than the kayak because I guess it holds more stuff with the taller walls and whatnot. Yeah, two people and their stuff that's in it. And then they've got a boat to paddle around on. They can swim out the house. Did they ever have so much stuff it couldn't fit in the canoe? That was very true. That happened a lot? Yep. And what'd you do? Let them make two trips. What else do you do? <laughs> Did you ever boat people over if it was like bad weather kind of thing? Or that was just the luck of the draw? Just depends. Some people will need an experience, so you let them have an experience, and some people need help, so you give them help. Definitely might be out of some people's wheelhouse, like I think, especially if they're from a bigger city, when they drive down 28 or the Dragon's Tail and their phone quits working. Hopefully that will be like a good feeling, like a, a getaway from the rest of the world type feeling, but we'll definitely have to be intentional about listing some amenities for those that might be a little more prone to stir craziness. <laughs> Got access to the resort, swimming pools, restaurants, marinas got Wi-Fi, cold beer, 
One, snacks. One thing that we could use y'all's advice on is whether we should list it on Airbnb or VRBO. I, I just see a lot of pros and cons on both sides. So if you have any personal experience with one or the other, I would love to hear that. Also, if you have an opinion as an experienced renter between both of them, that would be cool to know as well. Oh my gosh, it's our neighbor, Mike. He's actually left his house. It's the first time in three months we've seen him. I hope he watches this video. He's alive. He's alive. Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. So since we are not working on the bill this week, we're trying our best to be productive in other ways. That's never been a problem for Brandon. He is like the king of side hustles. He's talked in other videos about how- If you can make someone else's life easier just by doing something for them they don't wanna do, it's a good way to start making money for your dream. And he's so good at that. Like everybody in the harbor is always asking him to fix things for them. Not just because he's handy, but because he's one of the only people that will do it. People don't want to rip up carpet out of an old pontoon, but Brandon's like, I got you. All right guys, while we're waiting on our boat build stuff to come in, I'm gonna tear this boat apart, refloor it, reseat it, clean it, make it look new again. Here we go. So I've basically kind of taken charge of like preparing our house and, and brainstorming what we're gonna need for the Airbnb slash VRBO, still not sure. Would also appreciate some input on this window. This is the window that the bedroom nook looks out on. And oh, it's such a pretty view, we love it. So for ourselves personally, we just never put like drapes or blinds because we hate blinds and we didn't want drapes because we wanted to always have it open. I did an Instagram poll about this and it was like 70% of people said, yes, if I was staying there, I would probably want some kind of covering for the light in the morning. So I feel pretty confident that we should probably get another set of drapes, but what do y'all think? Same thing with the bathroom window. You can't see anybody out of this window. Um, it just backs up to the woods and we're even more tucked in in the summertime, but still just cause it's like the bathroom. I feel like people are weird about windows and bathrooms. So, or not weird, but you know what I mean. Let us know what you think about that one as well. When I did the Instagram poll for this window, it was actually 50-50. I will be interested to see what you guys think here on YouTube. To blinds or not to blinds? The couch we're taking with us. Congratulations, all of you who fought to the depths for Brandon to be able to keep his couch. We're gonna replace that with like a futon or a, a day bed, you know, something that can extend the amount of people that can sleep here from two to three, maybe two parents and two small children, something like that. We'll take the washing machine because you don't need to be washing clothes when you're here for two days. We're getting there. Strip it down. We gotta make all this stuff disappear. That's how we get them started. We're thinking in the summertime, we'll probably take out the wood stove just to open up a little bit more room for people, you know, they're bringing luggage and whatever else and it's a little cramped. So just wanna make sure people have room to add their own things in here as well. And in the colder months, we'll put that back in for functional reasons and probably put a grill back here because that's something we always meant to do for ourselves but never actually did. But that will probably be a really fun addition for renters, you know, to cook out and enjoy themselves. And we think we're gonna leave the swinging chairs and get new ones for ourselves but haven't decided if that is another liability risk, but it just seems like maybe. But then again, they're so fun and they add so much to the house, so I would hate not to offer that. And besides that, pretty much everything's gonna stay. This little breakfast nook pantry thing, the kitchen will all be pretty much the same, the bathroom. Really excited to share this space with you guys. It'll be a true keeping afloat with the Joneses experience. We're finally getting her put back together. Now we're putting the pretty on it.
You know when you go places and they have like the little soap and shampoo and stuff there for you? I think that's so nice. I really do appreciate that. I think everybody does. The thing is, I hate all the plastic. You know what I mean? So many like little containers of single-use plastic and that just kind of... Uh, I don't like that, you know? So I've been looking at this... Hold on, let me record my screen for you guys. I've been looking at this little shampoo conditioner holder thing. It has like this little bottom that screws in so that people can't take the whole thing, but I can just refill it. You know, Dr. Bronner's or whatever, like bulk soaps and shampoo and conditioner. I think that'll be a good solution. And then I also have in my cart a bunch of sheets, extra duvet, all for our laundry. That's honestly gonna be tough because our washer dryer is so small, I forget what the cubic volume is, but it, it really doesn't hold that much. So we might have to go to the resort because they have like big stackable ones and just do like a bulk load once a week, you know. All right, here we go. Finished product. Took a while, a lot of work battery compartment built in plenty of room back here for the tube helm is in even mounted your lock box here it was before and here it is after this lady was going to have her just her seats recovered for forty five hundred dollars i was able to rebuild the whole boat for fifty five hundred including labor look at that boat that's a lot better than just recovering the seats Good. I feel equally as excited about the new build and all that's to come with that as I do about the fact that we get to rent out our house. I'm like so excited to be a host. I'm sure at times it will be challenging because there's always a few bad apples, but I think by and large I'm just like really, really pumped to facilitate, you know, the memory making and enjoyment of other people. So it's going to be so fun, you guys. It really is. I can't wait. All right, guys, we want to give a special thanks to our super thinkers last week. We appreciate it. This coffee is for you. <laughs> Brian and Buddy and also John and Claire. Thank you guys so much. Also just wanted to share with you guys that we were thinking for those donations and also for any that may happen in the future. We want to put that towards buying a new camera. As you guys know, I film everything on my iPhone. It's fine, it works fine, but I would love to produce better quality videos for you guys. So we feel like that would be the most like mutually beneficial use of those funds. So just wanted to let you know, we do really appreciate them, but we also really want them to benefit you guys as well. So thanks again, Brian, Buddy, John and Claire. Just know that any super thanks money will go towards providing you guys with better content. So thank you so much. As you can see, we are not at our house. We are in a hotel. We're in Knoxville this weekend at the boat show. So just by the way, if you guys are in the Knoxville area, come see us this weekend. And other than that, we will see you guys next week. Back at me, makes me think of my baby coming home to me. Down the river said flow.